first create a biped and next make adjustment. Make sure your biped has five fingers with three links and one toe with one link. Use copy and paste option to speed up the process. Next turn off figure mode and add the bone. Bone will represent your weapon. Make necessary adjustments and add dummy object. Next align dummy to the center of the bone and move forward towards the handle. After that link the bone to the dummy. Select both and duplicate. Next select both bones and dummies and move them to the proper position. For this project you can place them around hips or on the back of your character. Just make sure that position and the angle reflects the type of the weapon that you're using for this animation. After that select each dummy and assign controller. Use link constraint. Under link parameters choose add link and select hip area or one of the bones on the back if your character carry weapons on his or her back. Now you are ready to animate your character. For this assignment you need to create both walk and run cycles. Use videos from previous lecture. Start with single cycle, save file as new version, next select the whole biped, select your keys, shift, drag to duplicate. Repeat this process several times. Next remove keyframes from each arm after first walk or run cycle. You will replace swing motion of the arms with weapon removal animation. Now you can start animating hands. Turn the auto key on and place hands close to the weapons. My character will remove one weapon at the time. So I will animate right arm first. So use move rotate tool and position your arm, hand and fingers on the top of the weapon. When you start wrapping fingers around the weapon, try to place your key frames close to each other. This will help later with weapon transition from the hip to the hand. If you're happy with your initial animation, you can start transferring weapon from the hip to the hand. For this, we'll use link constraint. When you select dummy object, you will notice pink keyframe. This represents link constraint that you created earlier. Move it to the back and place on the top of the last key of your hand animation. Move one frame away and link it to the hand. Now the weapon will follow the hand. Finish the hand animation, make adjustments to the position as well as to the timing. Make sure that the weapon doesn't cut through the character body parts. After you finish animating first arm, repeat the process on the second arm. Since the main movement of both arms is very similar, I can copy animation from one arm to another arm. For this, I'm using copy paste options. As you're working on your second arm, make sure that timing is right and the body parts don't go through each other. After you finish animating your second arm, go and apply link constraint. So again, link the weapon from the hip to the arm. Finish animating your second arm, make adjustments to both, check the timing and make sure that the weapons don't go through each other or through character body parts. 
If for some reason you need to make your animation longer, click on Time Configuration, Stretch Timeline and select your biped. Then select keyframes for first full cycle and deselect biped arms. Use Shift to duplicate. So keep make adjustments to position and time. Don't give up. If something doesn't work, try again. Please remember, for this assignment, you need to complete similar animation for run cycle. You can choose the position of the weapon. It doesn't need to be in the same place. For the run cycle, you can place your weapons on the back. Thank you.